September 28th, Saturday. Heal the disease, the Nephilim, that nobody can heal. Acts chapter 13, verse 5 through 12. Now the hand of the Lord is against you. You are going to be blind, and for a time you will be unable to see the light of the sun. Immediately mist and darkness came over him, and he groped about, seeking someone to lead him by the hand. Through Paul, Dr. Luke saw the works of healing the Nephilim diseases, which no one else could cure. He witnessed the healing of diseases that were caused by people being possessed by evil spirits, practicing sorcery, and deceiving people, diseases that came because of demon possession, and incurable diseases that were caused by spiritual problems. Because the cause of the Nephilim disease is Satan, it can never be cured through human will. This will surely be passed on to the posterity and families. If the source and fundamentals aren't healed in the name of Jesus Christ, they'll never be cured. The fundamental method to overcome a religious walk of faith and difficulties is knowing and actually enjoying the authority of being a child of God. Because this blessing isn't actually enjoyed, you live within the state of an unbeliever. In Acts 13, 16, and 19, Paul enjoyed the authority of being a child of God and through healing changed the world. The first work Paul did was to bind darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. When a sorcerer who was also a false prophet interfered with Paul relaying the gospel, Paul blinded the sorcerer. Before healing, there are points to remember. Number one, the greatest event on earth. You need to know the greatest event on earth. The offspring of the woman, the ark, the blood of the lamb, and the covenant of Emmanuel all foretold Christ. Number two, the greatest power on earth. Jesus has given you the power to overcome snakes and Satan and cast out demons. In the name of Jesus Christ, the forces of darkness are bound, and everything is brought under control through his name. Number three, the greatest answer on earth. If these works happen in your fields, business, studies, and workplace, then God's kingdom will come. Through prayer, you must first bind the forces of darkness. Evidences of this arose for the seven remnants, the members of the early church, and Paul. However, today's churches around the world aren't relaying this mystery at all. Now, as the age of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are open, focus must be placed on healing. You need to help those who are terminally ill to focus on prayer, breathing, food, and exercise to increase their spiritual strength. Covenantal Prayer Dear God, please renew my spiritual strength today. Help me realize my status and enjoy the authority given by Christ. At this time, may I begin the prayer that will crush all darkness. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen.